Well, it's time now for a look at sports, and here's Sunny Yang with the sunny side of sports. Sporty greetings once again to all our In Focus viewers. The 10th All-Africa Games get underway this weekend in Maputo, Mozambique. The games, which go through September 18th, will feature competition in more than 20 sports, with the most popular expected to be the men's football competition. Cameroon has dominated the All-Africa Games football tournament over the past 20 years, winning four of the past five gold medals at stake. Cameroon is grouped with Uganda, Senegal, and Ghana in the men's soccer competition. The All-Africa Games football tournament is for players age 23 and under. Meanwhile, at the senior level in African football, more than 20 matches are scheduled this weekend in African Nations Cup qualifying. We've reached the next to last round in the qualifying competition as teams try to qualify for next year's tournament, which will be co-hosted by Gabon and Equatorial Guinea. Now let's go to Pretoria, where South African President Jacob Zuma has given a special send-off to his country's national rugby team, nicknamed the Springboks, ahead of the Rugby World Cup in New Zealand. Bring the trophy back to Mzansk. The entire 50 million citizens will be behind you. South Africa will face Wales September 11th in Wellington in the opening match for both teams at the Rugby World Cup. Finally in boxing, here's a sunny side of sports salute for Angelo Dundee, the Hall of Fame trainer who is celebrating his 90th birthday this week. Angelo was in the corner of some of the sport's greatest boxers, including Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, and George Foreman. Happy birthday, Angelo. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports.